It's time to commit some crimes in City of Gangsters. Of course, I'm dressed apart and uh, we're gonna start small and set up a crime empire in this game that we get an early look at thanks to a preview code that was provided. So we are gonna encounter City of Gangsters and see how long it takes for us to either rule the city or die trying. So, this game, it's not done. It's not done. It's a, th this is relatively early in 2021, and this is supposed to release later on, towards the end of 2021. So we're gonna look at this as an incomplete game. There might be some little quirks, some little bugs, some little missing things that, you know, we could provide feedback. Uh, based on this. Now, we're looking at this game after the rocky release of Empire of Sin, which I've heard has gotten much better since release. Paradox released Empire of Sin, which is a similar, more higher production value, uh, maybe not AAA, but AA uh, quality game, uh, which had some bugs and weirdness at the start, especially UI issues. Because these games are inspired by the old gangster games. Well, what did we have back then? Gangland, Omerta, City of Crime, uh, and all sorts of gangster games back in the 90s, early 2000s. So since it is the 100 year anniversary of the 1920s, the Roaring Twenties, I see these games coming back into fashion. Now, this game is slightly more indie than Paradox and all of that. It is developed by SomaSim, which did Project High Rise and also an impression-style city builder mobile game. Oh, quite interesting, I just want to note that as well. In the settings menu right now, there is English or fake language, uh, which actually, that's a nice option. I think most games should have fake language, right? I'm actually going to set it to fake language and see what that does. Game colors, day-night cycle, you can use computer time if you want that immersion. UI scale, fantastic that this is here. We can't do 250 or 300% because our screen's not big enough, but I'm leaving it at 125%. You can make it smaller as well if you want that. I found 100 to be a little small on my monitor, uh, but UI scale is massively, massively important for all sorts of things. <clears throat> Uh, because just accessibility and all of that. Uh, fake language <laughs> equals Twitch chat. <laughs> tutorial, it's currently hints only, it's because I went through the tutorial uh, a little bit for the basic stuff. So graphics, um... Why does everything say fake? <laughs> I know it's fake language, but... Uh... Don't know why all of this has to say fake. Anyway, resolution, it's hard to read here because it says fake. It does go up to 4K 60? 4K 60? I'll, I'll switch it back to the English language if something's weird besides this. Have they not implemented the fake language? I just realized all the buttons just say fake new game. You know, to be safe, in case that's broken, I'm gonna fake apply it back to English. Fine, fine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but we go up to 4K 60. If we could go up to that resolution, then maybe the 300% UI scale would be handy. Or maybe you're playing on a TV. Always great to have. Separate audio sliders for music, ambient user interface. No voice acting at the moment, but rebindable keys are a thing, so that's great. Let's click on New Game. Yeah, maybe not all the imp implement uh, things are implemented quite yet. It's fine. Uh, we can be in Chicago, Detroit, mini test map or Pittsburgh. Uh, I'm just going to leave it at Chicago, Chicago because 1920 Chicago seems appropriate. Random start value. We can be Lewis Wilson, American. Your culture does determine some relationship stuff. Uh, you get along better with people who are the same nationality as you. Um, Doris, Stephen, Camilla, Dawid, Richard, Meta. That's fine. We are gonna be... I 
I want to be Zack. But I don't have a surname. Gamer. <laughs> now let... I'm gonna be Gamer Zack. Because we always are, we always are. Don't suppose there's a Malaysian here, I don't think so. We didn't really reach travel to the Americas. Uh, what should we be? Hungarian, Irish, Polish, Scottish, Swedish, Russian? Uh, English, I suppose. I do have some English heritage. Mail. Uh, looks good. Start. Let us begin our criminal empire. I don't have a surname. Well, technically, no. That's not how names always work in Asian cultures. Uh, but also, I don't, I don't use all of that. <laughs> Who are you? I'm my father's son. Finalizing, finally. So we're not going to comment on optimizing or anything like optimization. Now, big difference between... Empire of Sin and this game as you'll notice in the top right there is a next turn button this is a turn based game it's more zoomed out it's more about the sim logistical stuff than Empire of Sin less action less tactical Empire of Sin has this like tactic tactical combat system this is more zoomed out right so although it's a similar vein similar theme it's not the same game Anyway, Gamer Zach, you. 19 years old English. <clears throat> There's no voice acting, so I'll, I'll try my best. I'll try my best. You finally arrive in the big city, Chicago. The year is 1920, dawn of the Gilded Age. The country is prosperous but divided. The National Prohibition Act just made it illegal to sell, manufacture, or transport alcoholic beverages anywhere in the country. The law is seen as an attack on city residents and immigrants who don't support the temperance movement. Naturally, nobody in the city takes this law seriously. Illegal speakeasies and alcohol operations are popping up all over. And police is easily persuaded to look the other way. You arrive into this melting pot with a few dollars in your pocket and a family connection. You're staying with your uncle, Leon Zack. He has a small business in the city, and he's going to show you the ropes. But you don't want to run the family store. You dream about making it big, and this situation is full of opportunities for someone like you. Someone who's not afraid to take risks. As you get off the train and take the sights of skyscrapers and endless crowds, you already know this is the beginning of something great. The Zack Territory. <laughs> the Zack Family. Ah, uh, okay, we're in the game. Now, first thing I'm gonna comment on, but of course this can be improved as development continues. Just looking at the screen right now, it's a little hard to parse what we're looking at. It's a little messy. Uh, in terms of all these icons and the buildings having a surprising amount of detail, actually. If you zoom in, you know, there's a lot of detail here. But, like, when you look at this region here, it's like, what are you looking at? It's actually hard to parse. You get used to it, though. You get used to it. Though, I feel like things could be clarified. Too much information? Yeah. Uh, the UI, by the way, that's generally pretty good. Generally pretty good. Anyway, let me explain how this works. We have this cold warehouse, uh, which is Zack and Son cold warehouse. This is our uh, base of operations, right? This is base of operations. We have the front, which is the legal business, a small cold storage. The chilly confines of this building keep fruit, vegetable, meats, and other perishables in a state of preservation until they're needed. This is the front, right? It's, it's the legal stuff. When the cops come, it's like, no, we just store fruit. This is what we're actually holding. 25 units of moonshine. <laughs> We've got sugar, four sacks of sugar, nice. Uh, 85 crocs of hard cider. 
$150. In our car, we've got $100 and a baseball bat, right? We have no current operation, you know, set up right now. So what we have to do is basically take what we've got, sell it, make money. So I can, for example, take 39 units of hard cider into my car. So this car is where I am, right? And we get to move around and talk to people. There's Daisy Laundry Co. There's Union Nickel Smiths. There's Consolidated Food Co. The Solar Room. Uh, QG Petronas Brothers Registered Pharmacist. And an unknown building. But the sign says Blue Hillside Produce and Grocery. Now these all seem like legit businesses. But as with my business, what goes on behind the scenes might be slightly different. So what we do is we talk to people. For example, Clifford Jenkins, owner of Union Nickel Smiths. He doesn't seem to appear too particular about permits to sell materials. Word around here is that the owner of this business uses their vehicles to deliver homemade booze to customers and establishments all over town. Let's talk about buying and selling. We can sell our hard cider. I can also buy barrels. So that's, uh, so this guy right next to me will buy cider. We can sell 21 crocs immediately for $252. Great. I've also got relationships with people. If you uh, click on this, you'll notice relationships are a thing in this game. So this guy has a relationship with the owner of the neighboring store, uh, Ida Kozlowski, sister at 30 years old. So his sister runs the laundry across the street. Okay. We can see their family, their friends, uh, and our history with them. So I've bought some stuff from them. That gets a small favor because we're business dealings and all of that. And I can also call in these favors. Uh, I could uh, our outfit wants to expand our territory or put in a good word, introduce us to new dealers and all of that. So we know he'll buy our cider. Let's talk to the neighbor, his sister. Uh, soap, hot water, irons, looks like some type of commercial laundry op uh, operation. What do you buy or sell? I can buy a pocket knife or neutral alcohol. Actually, what is neutral alcohol? I don't know what that is. Uh, I can ask for favors, but I don't think I want to do any of that. So that's great. We uh, basically made quite a bit of money. Now, you don't want to be carrying around... Oh, it's rubbing alcohol. Ah, okay, thank you. You don't want to be carrying around a bunch of cash. Because if the cops show up and arrest you, they take all your stuff. So you want to store your money into your uh, home base here. Right? So we're still carrying hard cider. I think I'm going to grab this moonshine. And then see if anyone... Uh, shop around to s see who will buy... So he buys cider. She doesn't buy anything. Uh, and let's, let's drive to the next corner. So how these tiles are defined is this is a corner. This is one corner. Currently, I own... Well, my territory is one singular corner. This is the size of the city. In the current game. I don't know whether it can get bigger or smaller in future iterations of the game, but it's it's a lot. It's a lot. This is this is a lot of territory. That's how much I own right now. So <laughs> Ah, night cycles kicked in. So that's one tile. I can drive to the next tile. But before I do that, I should check the info overlay and look for heat. Illegal operations generate heat, much like an evil genius, and it attracts the authorities, which we can see the police precinct. We are currently in this light green zone, right? You can get to know, is that where the cops are? This yellow building, I think so? Uh, you can get to know the cops and make some friends. Let's uh, go to the next territory. Zoom. It's June 1st, 1920, by the way. So now that we're here, we can't talk to these people. We're too far away. 
It's the 1920s. We don't have smartphones. We gotta drive there and talk to them. <laughs> Let's talk to these business owners. Maybe able to acquire citrus fruit from this consolidated food. Let's talk about buying and selling. We can buy corn syrup from her. How about you? I want to sell brick wine and hard cider. So Rita Petronis of the pharmacist is willing to buy our cider. What is brick wine? It, it looks like grapes. So hard cider, apples. I might have some in the car right now. You'll buy 24. Take all 18 I've got. That's great. The solar room. Oh, the solar room has nothing for sale. Which basically means they don't want to deal with us right now. There's not much here, is there? <laughs> Locals rave about the menu here. This establishment appears to be more popular than others. The fine stemware, corkscrews, and other things indicate they serve more than iced tea. But we're not... We, we need to get a good word in with Bill Reynolds. So let's have a look at his relationships. Uh, we're only acquaintances. Oh, but he's only acquaintances. Oh, does he have any friends? I can try. Ask someone, one of these guys, to put in a good word for me. So, Rita who owes us two favors. I can say I could use a bit of support with a common friend. Yes, Bill Reynolds. So there's a lot of reading here, but actually the icons, these little icons, explains a lot of stuff, right? Or oh, doesn't that guy owe us two favors? Or oh, so he does. It's okay, we'll do it this way, just to show it off. These icons sort of explain everything. The, the mechanics are explained in these icons, so you actually can play the game without reading any of this. It's all essentially flavor text, though some things, for example, reading the description of the solar room says there's corkscrews there, so they probably sell alcohol. Brick wine is made of... <laughs> of, of brick grape juice? Which is legal to own at the time. Is it non-alcoholic? Is there rubbing brick wine? <laughs> so basically, I can ask Rita to put in a good word. Uh, he owes us favors as well, but it's fine. Let's do it this way. So we use one favor, and you can see the effect has taken place. Improved the relationship with Bill Reynolds. It never hurts to have friends in this tough city. So now if we go back talking to him. Oh, I'm out of action points. I'm out of action points. You see here, we have action points and movement points. But I can't do anything because I'm out of action points, so I'm gonna have to end the turn. Good. You learned about a new resource, apples. Uh, does it say... Corn syrup. Sugar. Mm. Let's talk to him. Our favors now... Uh, our relationship is now much higher. I think the max is 50 in both directions. So we're at 46 right now. Let's talk about buying and selling. There's not much here. Uh, we've got a good relationship. Let's see if I can... Do you know anyone buying what I've got for sale or selling anything I need? Let's try ask him. Oh, it actually says here you can sell for unknown resources. Okay, he doesn't want to deal with me right now, but he could introduce us to his niece, Anna, which is way far away. So I am not going to deal with Anna. Let's keep things local for now. Okay, so we've made some money. Let's drive back and make sure we're not carrying around too much money on us. Let's keep slightly over $100. We have a baseball bat. We've got all this moonshine. Let's grab the rest of the moonshine and keep trying to make some money because we need to make money to set up operations. Is that the police station's right there? Why did we set up here? <laughs> the police station is Okay. Can we talk to the police? Officer Francois Johnson. So they just sort of pol p 
patrol right round here. Okay. We might be able to make friends with him at some point, but... Oh, we can say good morning. I just wanted to say how we all appreciate how much law enforcement is doing good for this neighborhood. I could intimate a bribe, but we need five relationship points. Ooh, got five relationship points. Look at that. Hello. Great job, Officer Francois. Uh, let's use first names here. My name is Gamer. <laughs> Thank you. It's nice to hear that from the citizens of our fair city. I would love an opportunity to show my personal appreciation for all your hard work. And I would recommend you stop beating your gums before you say something you're gonna regret. Rejected. They don't trust you enough. Rejected. Publicly rejected. Old Jube, thank you so much. Lezaren as well, thank you so much for the support. We're just having a friendly chat, officer. No need to blow a gasket. Have a good day. So we still have the... They enjoyed your words of appreciation. Oh, it only lasts two turns. So relationships decay. So, okay. We're, we're not gonna do much there right now. Let's have a look down this way. Sadel's Cafeteria. Do you want to buy or sell anything? Ooh. They'll buy cigarettes. Okay, good, good. So we're just sort of trying to remember where things are. You can, you don't have to remember. You can use these overlays. So hard cider, we can sell there. Uh, homemade beer, nothing here. Brick wine, there. Moonshine, no one. So if we want to set up a industry here, we're going to want to set up an, a cider industry. So where can we get apples or apple juice? Nowhere yet. We got a source of corn syrup, which goes into I don't know what drink. If we go here and have a look at what we can set up. These are the operations we can set up in our main building. <clears throat> uh, so Moonshine takes neutral alcohol and stoneware crocs. Wasn't this rubbing alcohol? Is that? Oh, that sounds terrible. Backroom cider. This takes eight small barrels uh, and 40 crocs into 40, okay. Homebrew is malt syrup. Brick wine is grape concentrate. Do we currently have barrels of grape? What do we have in here? Let's grab the cider. Okay. Okay, good. So we're carrying around cider and moonshine. All right, all right. So we can sell um, cider, but we're going to have to find a source of uh, apples. Uh, also, I don't know how you turn apples into apple juice. Let's have a look here. This is the Blue Hillside Produce and Grocery. We can scope it out and see what they sell. What have you got for sale? They sell bottles. Okay, so no source of apples yet. Dismiss that, dismiss that. We've got sugar. I met some officers from the Chicago Police Department. Okay, we found that. Okay, no source of apples yet. Running illegal alcohol businesses is hard, huh? So let's, let's travel down to this block. Just start scouting out... Ooh, Patricia's Corner. Look at this thing. What do you sell? They want cigarettes. Okay. Looks like an ice cream parlor. Now there's a couple... Oh no, I'm out of moon points. Fine. Next turn. Let's uncover these. Zemite's Confectionery. Oh, not much here. Okay. Bye for now. How about you? Krauss's painting and construction. We can buy barrels. Okay. We might actually need barrels for the cider because the apple juice goes in the barrels. Remember smoking at ice cream parlors? <laughs> People member. Uh, okay. So I think I've scouted out the... Oh, no. I haven't scouted out what this is. Hello, officer. A coffee shop. 
Coffee, black as hell, strong as death, sweet as love. This establishment does a brisk business in selling small packages from the back door. In small, dark bottles without labels. Let's talk business. Oh, there's cops exactly here, so maybe not right now. <laughs> That's a good idea. Let, let's, um, let's not do that. Do I want to cross the river? Sure. Let's just have a look over here. Oh, there's another person from another crew. This is someone's territory. We found a rival. Let's just have a look. Oh, we're out of action points. Fine. Next turn. Let's have a look at this neighborhood market. Apples? Apples? I can buy grape concentrate. Okay, fine. Goodbye for now. How about you? Midtown Tea Room. I can buy stoneware crocs from them. That's actually really important. For now? Alright. Oh, this person has like multiple crew members already and multiple territories. Can I say hi to them? Hello. <laughs> We're currently neutral with them. You look familiar. Do I know you? I'd like to do business with some of the people on your corner. I understand they're afraid of crossing you. You know what? I don't like the way you're looking at me. Forget it, I'll see you around. <laughs> so see these icons basically explain everything you need to know. You don't actually need to read. So it looks like a lot of text, but I actually appreciate how the icons communicate everything. Uh, icons could be a bit bigger though. So like, obviously the fist is declare war. <laughs> Uh, but let's ask about, hmm, can I do business with people on your corner? You're far away from home, you know. This is my corner. Everybody here knows who's boss. Maybe I don't want to threaten right now. Forget it. I'll see you around. Let's come back here. Cops have moved on. What do you buy or sell? They want cig- lots of people want cigarettes around here. I'm trying to set up an alcohol business. Can you guys all switch vice? <laughs> and I found no source of apples. Uh, let me have a look at the resource overlays. So, uh, some important notes. We can get barrels from there. We can get grape concentrate from there. So, this place sells brick wine. So I actually have a, a setup for brick wine because grape concentrate can come from there. That's a legal business. And if I wanted to set up a brick wine industry, I need the grape concentrate and stoneware crocs. So this is going to cost us 700. We need to make a little bit more money. So as time goes on, of course, we can continue selling to our favorite uh, businesses here. Let's sell more hard cider. Have some in the croc. He'll buy seven. Let's grab that. That gets us 700. Uh, out of action points. Okay, okay. I need the skill to- oh, what skills do I have? That's a good point. Uh, I've forgotten how to check skills. Does it say here? I mean, I can set it up. I started with Cider and Moonshine. Oh! So, th right, that's- under requirements. Oh no. So I can't do brick wine. I can do cider or moonshine. Okay. Let me have a look what else we got. Uh, so cider, we've got places to sell but no source of apples. Moonshine, we've got nowhere to sell. Th this is a hard start. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna have to keep looking around. Uh, let's just drive over here and see what else we got. Insufficient movement points. Okay, fine. Next turn. Let's just uncover more businesses. How about you? What are you buying and selling? Stoneware crocs. Okay, good. Good to have. Good to know. No businesses. Okay, fine. 
We're just gonna... We just have to keep scouting. Oriental rugs. Okay. Nothing readily. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, what have we uncovered? We haven't actually uncovered this road. But it's okay. I'll probably continue clockwise. I just met the Baker crew. They're one of the many small-time troublemakers that can be found all over the city. Unlike outfits, these hooligans only occupy one corner, and they can get very possessive of it. Their ambitions are limited, so they just hold one thing. You want to get into a fight? Just start insulting them. No problem. Okay. None of these people currently trust me. Out of action points. It's okay. One of your people became injured? Did they just attack me? They just- they just attacked me! Now learn to rue the day. Send them back to one of your buildings and have them recuperate. Use the recuperate button. Okay, fine. I just wanted to check out Baker Sandwiches. They went- is that tech? No, that's not in their territory. I'm not in your territory. Leave me alone. They took damage as well. Okay, good. You. Barrels, small barrels, steel barrels. Okay. Tea shop. Stoneware crocs. Okay. I just need a source of apples. The Baker crew has become angry at you. They'll now start targeting you. Right. So, Willard Baker got a bit roughed up. I escaped with barely a scrape. Nice. They're chasing me! You're gonna lose this fight. Cigarettes. Okay, fine. Fine. <laughs> uh, you don't need to fight to get injured. Kitchen is still the most dangerous place at home. That's true. Later that day, someone knocked on your door and left a package. Some dead fish rolled in newspaper. You got a feeling someone has it out for you. I just met the Cunningham Outfit. One of the other organized outfits. Dead fish, huh? That's their style. This guy's still attacking me. It's so annoying. It's fine. I think we will win this one. Billiards. I hear you're a well-connected person. Perhaps I could ask you about something. I'm listening. Rumor that you could get your hands on some interesting potent liquids. That's true. I've got some hard cider at my disposal. That, well, looking to dispose of. Let me know if you might be interested. Deliver five hard cider. Don't I have that on me? I have the things you're looking for. That's great. I brought the five crocs of cider. We can definitely do business together. Finish the quest. So we got a quest and we just had what they wanted. So the quest completed. So what do you want to sell or buy? Uh, they buy brick wine, cigarettes and hard cider. So I can just sell the rest of my cider for now. Do I have... Brick wine on me? No. Okay. Good. What's What do I currently have in my inventory? I'm currently carrying around 25 moonshine. Right. Okay. Just met the Fredrickson outfit. Another organized outfit. I can buy a crowbar. Okay, from the rug store. Okay, so I should probably head back and heal up. Uh, how do I... There we go. Uh, you need to safe house to recuperate. Good. Recuperating. Let's just give it a turn. So I've got some decent money. Uh, let's keep the money on us relatively low 650 so to set up any of these operations they all or some cost a thousand so I can't do those two 
So I need at least 800 for the cider operation or a thousand for the moonshine operation. Do we have a source of neutral alcohol? Yes. Do we have a buyer for moonshine? No. Okay. I'm gonna have to keep scouting. Let's have a look back here. Carnation Dairy. Another quest. I'm listening. Having a hard time finding enough apple juice? Yes! Yes, I am. Well, we got produce from several farms every week. If you get us small empty barrels, we can have them filled up next trip. Deliver six small barrels. Sounds like the start of a fruitful relationship. Okay, six small barrels. Six small barrels. Uh, do I have them? I know we can buy them. Do I have any on me? No. I need to go buy six small barrels. Uh, yes, yeah, six small barrels. So if I look here, barrels... Oh, you sell it? Those are barrels. Nah, I need small barrels. Never mind. Uh, is barrels and small barrels... Small barrels. There. Okay. We have a quest. Let's go over here. Krauss's painting and construction. I want to buy small barrels. I'll pick some up right now and I need six. My car is full. Th this is a logistical management game. I'll just, I'll just buy three for now. I'll buy small barrels. I'll pick some up right now. I'll get three of them, okay? It's $12, okay, let's drive back to here. Let's empty our car. I'm currently car carrying 25 moonshine. Let's get rid of that. No one wants to buy it anyway. Grab some cash. Go back here. <laughs> Quick, drink all the moonshine. Okay. Did I buy? No, I, okay, correct. So I got six small barrels. Let's go back here. I have the things. Deliver six small barrels. Thanks, we're getting there. Let me know when you have the rest. Wait, did I give enough? Oh, I have to deliver 200 bucks as well. I didn't realize. We have to bring 200 bucks. Okay, fine. Let's grab $200. One of your crew members gained enough level to gain experience. Uh, okay. Smart opportunist. Increase the number of action points per turn. Increase the number of movement points per turn. Increase combat effectiveness. What do I keep running out of? Movement or action? I think action was being used up mostly because of the uh, investigating new businesses. Now that the businesses have been revealed, we're not using those action points anymore. So I think I should do movement. Cheers. Your crew is becoming better at driving around the city. They will be able to get further faster. Uh, okay, I have the cash. 200 is a lot though. I have the things. Deliver the cash. If this is a scam, I'll be so upset. We'll get those cleaned and filled up with apple juice for your purely wholesome use. Excellent. And if I should need more? Business. Business. You love the costume. Thank you so much. Someone asked for your help. You obliged. Now it's time to explore the benefits of generosity. So, um... You could start by making your own apple juice, but if you don't know or how or have the space, we can talk next time you might need some. Currently they sell bottles. So I just picked up... Did I actually pick up? Let's try back here. Uh, oh, 
Oh, it's put into my industrial storage straight away. They delivered it. So we've got six apple juice barrels. I'm gonna pick up this 32 cider. Where did I get this from? Oh, did they give us cider as well? Ooh, we can sell this cider. I have some in the car right now. 21. Okay, good. Uh, what were we trying to set up again? Cider operation, right? We need 800. No, not that. Uh, who else was the one that bought cider? Odd cider. Down that way. Did I grab all my cider? Yes. Let's empty out the rest of this cider. Buys 27, huh? Okay. Good. We have 800. I'll see you around. So we can go back here, and I think we can now go to our back room, set up a new operation. Back room cider operation. It'll take five turns to set up. Do I have everything I need? What? Why can I not build it? I have the four lumber. Does all the money need to be in there? 800? The money needs to be in there. Okay. Uh, so 800. Oh, it was red. That means it, it wasn't there. Four lumber crates. Let's set up a backroom cider operation. So we need apple juice into stoneware crocs to produce cider. Let's build that. It'll take five turns. Okay. Expansions available. Steam sanitizer. Production tracking. Ooh, okay. There's upgrades and expansions and setting up a manager and all of that stuff. Good. Now, in terms of a source of... Um, apple juice this person said they would have it i'm listening still don't have a steady source of apple juice not yet i really need you to supply been able to start uh, haven't been able to start to make my own binjutsu dropping a thousand tribute good morning binjutsu thank you so much i need to deliver 24 small barrels Glad we have this connection. 24 small barrels. That's pretty pricey. Let me drive down this way. Explore some of these other businesses. Stoneware crocs, malt syrup, corn syrup, bottles. Okay, that's a good source of things. Oh, hey, you fix vehicles, right? I've heard you've got a car or two for sale. Ah, yes. When you hire another person to work for you, they need a vehicle. They can't walk around the city. We'll need to buy a car from this dealership when we hire someone. So, 24 small barrels. I think we can afford it. Commerce. Buying and selling things. Lots of sources of stoneware crocs. That's useful, because that's what we need. Uh, let's go back here. So we can grab some cash. We don't have a lot. $86. And then the small barrels we bought from... There. We needed 24. Do you have 24? Can only carry nine. Can I deliver nine first and then come back for the rest? Let's see if we can deliver the nine first. Yes, you can deliver them bit by bit. Okay, see you around. So we delivered nine out of 24. Okay. Uh, what am I carrying on me? Not much. We can't fit that many barrels <clears throat> in our car. Maybe we should buy a truck. If I could sell this moonshine, it'll be really good. 
but there is no one who wanted to buy moonshine from us, I think. Maybe I should explore more. While the barrels restock. So, okay. Let's grab you. Let's just drive down all the way here. Another crew? Troublemakers. They're another one of those one-tile things. Are you gonna come fight me? Randall's sandwiches. So many people want cigarettes. Wait. Was this one... That's cell. Oh, here's a source of grape concentrate. That was for the brick something, right? But then again, selling is for the brick wine. If I found that earlier, that might have been a better setup. <laughs> We can get the concentrate from here and then sell it here. But we're already building the the cider facility. Maybe I should have waited. Maybe. Wait. Do I have the skill for, for brick stuff? I don't know how to see me. Encyclopedia. I don't know how to look at my current skills. Was that the one we didn't have the skill for? I think it... Are you gonna attack me? No? Okay. Uh, what were we looking for? A place to sell moonshine. Hmm. Interesting potent liquids. Yes, what do you want? Hard cider. Okay. I don't have any right now. I can buy small barrels from here. I'll pick some up right now. Great, another source of small barrels. Finished building a new operation and it's ready to go. Okay, cider operation is going. More stoneware crocs. Okay, I think we have enough sources of stoneware crocs. Does anyone want to buy moonshine? Apples! We found a source of apples! How do we turn apples into... I don't have any space. Wait, do you buy anything? No. Okay, I found a source of apples. How do we turn apples into juice? Let me drive back. So we got this backroom cider operation, which takes apple juice and stoneware crocs and generates 40 hard cider every five turns. Hmm. How do we... Maybe the encyclopedia says apple juice. Apples. This encyclopedia could do with some instructions. <laughs> Maybe it'll tell you once you get apples. Okay, well, let's deliver the barrels first. Okay, so we can deliver these nine barrels. So we need another eight. Let's see if he's got eight in stock. Five. Okay. I think it might be faster to just... But there's another source there. Oh, there's two sources of small barrels there. Uh, small barrels. I'll pick some up right now. How many did I need? Oh, I don't have enough money. I didn't buy the barrels just now because I didn't have enough money. I'm actually broke. I need to sell this moonshine. Shake up in the criminal underworld. Maria O'Neill takes the reins of the O'Neill outfit. 
Okay. There's an apple press beneath the apple? In the... What? <laughs> Did I need? Uh, I've got two dollars, so I I just have to try and find a moonshine supplier. Oh, in the encyclopedia, Apple Press. Oh, there it is, Apple Juice Press. When installed and supplied with apples and small barrels, the juice press will produce apples. Oh, I see. Requires apple presses. Learn how to convert apples to juice so you can make apple juice more cheaply and at a larger, more industrial scale. I need to acquire the skill, that's why. I don't have the skill to make apple juice. Okay. Let's deliver the three barrels. So I'm short three barrels and I am totally broke. So, at this point, I just have to drive around until someone <laughs> buys my moonshine. I don't think- I don't think I can do anything else, right? Someone please buy moonshine. Another source of apples, great. Another source of small barrels. Okay. Chicago Police Department. Another police down this way. Someone please want moonshine. A lot of businesses here. <laughs> Runs criminal empire, can't make apple juice. <laughs> yeah, look, we're just starting, okay? They sell a lot of things, okay. And we can buy bricks. Fix vehicles. That's the police station. I, th I think I'm actually in a situation where I've run out of money before I can actually make money. Of a small gang. So yes, my operations have stalled. More sorts of apples. Okay. <laughs> have I... Until I find someone... The shop is closed. It's those local troublemakers. Okay, I don't want to fight anyone yet. Cigarettes. Okay. <laughs> what was the quest on the mechanic? Uh, it was for cider. Get the Johnson crew. Small barrels, okay. <laughs> I, actually, I actually can't find a way to... Okay. Um, like, I could go around... Trying to talk to people for things. But if someone just buys my moonshine, it would actually just solve my problem. Why does zero people why does zero people want moonshine? It's the 20s. Surely people want moonshine. <laughs> yeah, the map generation has been rather tough on us. Um So my skills are just let's just drive back well we can make it so like i've also i i can't figure out how to check what skills i currently have it doesn't say here i can't click on this oh traits experience no, it doesn't say there either. I don't know how to... Yeah, okay. Um, get more information about this crew member.
These are my connections. Oh, okay. It does show everything. Turn that off. Uh, this is me. I can see this. Shared skills, cider making, moonshine matters. Okay, so I could not use... Uh, so we, the one thing we actually found a source for was uh, brick wine making. Because we can sell brick wine there and the ingredients required grape concentrate, which is sold there. But I don't have the skill for that. I can only do hard cider or moonshine. So moonshine, we found no one who wants to buy moonshine. Uh, and we found some sources of apples, but no source of apple juice. So the map that we've loaded in um, has is very, very not set up for me to be able to do anything. So I need to find someone who buys moonshine. Oh no. I think I've lost the game. Because we just got arrested, and when you get arrested, they take your stuff. <laughs> we just lost the game. <laughs> they just took our moonshine. Can I sell sugar? I don't think you can sell... Like... They sell sugar. No one buys sugar, right? If you mouse over, it says, yeah, buys. I think, I think we just lost the game. Did we generate that much heat? We generated so much heat. Also, we live next to the police station. Did I get the hardest map in the world? <laughs> um, I don't think people buy ingredients. Because if I check stoneware crops, crocs, for example, they all sell. No one buys stoneware crocs. Right. I've lost the game. <laughs> you know, um, that's fine. That's fine. Um... <clears throat> I think you get the gist of this game right now, though. Um, honestly speaking, the game, the gameplay so far, the, the management aspects to all of this, it's actually pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, we didn't manage to commit any crimes today. We built an apple cider factory, but we produced a zero cider. So I think we... We're totally above board, right? Uh, this legit operation, this legal business we have, produces sugar. That's why we're getting sugar. But no, I did. No one buys sugar, so yeah. I think the only way to continue is if I find someone who buys sugar, and I don't even know if that is a thing. Because there is one thing that does sugar here, and they sell it. <laughs> but, you know, it's fine. Gameplay-wise, this is actually fine. I just got really unlucky with map generation. Or rather, the map generation needs a little bit of work, I should say. It should not be this hard to get the first thing going. Uh, maybe a rival gang? Maybe. But they barely wanted to talk to me last time, so... Um, you, you do start with a starting... I, I think one thing that is a little bit weird here is our legal business has nothing to do with our skills because for... like sugar is not used in the drinks that we can make, right? So that's a little bit weird, you know? But yeah, the, the map... like I, I don't see how I could have... Like, maybe if I found someone who bought Moonshine, but literally no one in this whole region here bought Moonshine. No one here wants Moonshine! So that's... it was just unfortunate. But yeah, ga game's actually fine. Uh, I'd like to check back with this in a few months, because... 
yeah, this, this whole management aspect of setting things up, I think it will scratch a different itch from Empire of Sin, right? Because Empire of Sin has this tactical combat, whereas here combat is just the units clash, things happen, you know? Um, so I think a lot of people who want the management aspect might have been pulled away from all the tactical combat stuff. Uh, essentially, growing territory, you talk to people, you expand your operations, it's sort of like that. We would have tried to do that if we didn't lose the game. But you know, there's no difficulty options or anything set up yet anyway. I, I assume map generation could have easy starts and hard starts and that should just be an option. Failed Business 101, know what the customers want before producing the stuff? Yes, but also, I've looked around, the customers want what I can't make. <laughs> they, the, all, like, there, sh there should be a, just a code which says, somewhere in your starting area, people will buy what you have your, your starting skills with. Because we, we can't make um, brick... Uh, what was it called again? Brick... Brick wine, right? There's someone who buys brick wine, and there's someone who sells grape concentrate, but we don't have the skill to make brick wine. <laughs> so it's like... <laughs> there's people who buy hard cider, but there's no one who sells apple juice, and we don't have the skill to juice apples. So that doesn't work either. We can make moonshine, but no one buys moonshine. So that doesn't work. And I don't think anyone buys or does anything with homemade beer. Homemade beer is made out of malt syrup. Someone sells malt syrup, no one buys homemade beer. Right? What's with the cigarettes? I don't even know... We can... There's lots of places that buy cigarettes. Lots of places buy cigarettes, but I doubt I'll be able to make cigarettes. Or oh, doesn't seem like it's a thing we make. So yeah, um, map generation needs work. But actual gameplay, I can actually tell you, it, it's kind of fun. Um, visually, like it shows all these icons when you zoom in. When you zoom out, it sort of shifts the icons to group them up a bit. But visually, it is kind of messy to look at and, and hard to see. Um, but I actually like the, the UI. There's a lot of text in the UI. Have a good day. You just arrested me and took all my moonshine. Um, there's a lot of text, but actually the icons sort of communicate easily enough, right? So yeah, that was City of Gangsters, an early look have to clarify, uh, this preview code was provided, and this was an early look. But I think this could actually be really fun once the balance and all of that is set up, right? Uh, basically what you end up having is lots of other units moving around, and you can assign these, you can assign a driver and add steps to like buy resource from here. Uh, and then, uh, well, you set up pickup, cash there, you can add another step and then you can buy resource barrels from there. And then you can say, drop off resources here. So you can set up the, these sort of delivery routes, which is actually really nice. Um, generally, you want to hire someone to do this and then maybe get them a truck and stuff. Um, this is actually, this becomes very sort of intricate and complex, which is actually, I think, that simulation management tycoon thing, which feels like it scratches that itch more than Empire of Sin. Um, so I think if you look at Empire of Sin and this game, it will be an either or, depending on your personal preference. You feel like this is a simplified version of Empire of Sin. Production value there is higher. But I think the main difference is... Combat. Seems like Anno Light. Yeah, it's sort of like that. But yeah. 
I, I can see people liking this and not liking Empire of Sin. Back to Omerta. <laughs> this is an early look. We'll see how this looks in a few months. It's supposed to release later this year, so the schedule is roughly another six to eight months of development. So we'll see how it goes. A lot can happen. A lot can be improved. And I hope they do improve it because the, the, the bones of this game are actually really nice. Right? Transcend Dancing says, I picked this up over Empire of Sin. I'm not really into combat. Yeah, if you hate combat uh, in Empire of Sin, this is this is your cho your choice, right? Good? Good. Anyway, that's our little attempt at running a crime empire. We didn't get very far. But next time we come back, uh, it, sh it should go better. It should go better. Hopefully. We'll find someone who wants to buy our drinks. Yeah. These cops. I generated so much heat from building a cider factory. And they raided me. And they took the moonshine I started with. <laughs> That's gonna be it for now. If you'd like to support our little criminal empire here on the Gamerzack channel, please do check out the Patreon. Patreon.com slash Gamerzack. Direct support goes a long, long way. A dollar a month is far more than any ad revenue can generate from a viewer, so thank you so much for the support, and it also means we run fewer ads on YouTube. If you'd like to support in other ways, you can check out gamersact.com slash shop to buy merch and stuff, or buy games using gamersact.com slash humble, which is a humble bundle referral link where if you buy games, it helps support the channel. Join us on social media, links down below, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Discord. And if you're watching YouTube, click the buttons on the screen right now for so much more content. Thank you all so much for joining. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.